Hello everyone, uh, this is Rachel, and due to technical difficulties on Wednesday, May 6th, uh, our Facebook Live program of Teen Tech Time was unfortunately not so live. Uh, we were having some technical issues, ironically. Um, so we weren't able to come at you live yesterday um, on uh, the 6th, but uh, to make up for it, I'm going to do a little pre-recorded demo of what I was trying to talk about yesterday, uh, just so we uh, don't miss out, because um, it, it's fun and I want to share it with you guys. So, um, coming at you um, Thursday, uh, May 7th, we have our teen tech time talking about skyscraper 100 so skyscraper 100 if you just google it skyscraper 100 um, it's usually the second site that pops up here it's a google site and it looks like this skyscraper 100 so uh, the subheading up here, 100 Floors of Madness. That's what this is. Um, this game I learned about back when I was in high school. Uh, so over a decade ago uh, is when I first heard about this. And uh, it's a interesting uh, game of sorts. Um, basically the concept, you as you can read on the screen, um, and I'll read out to you here. The concept is there are 100 floors or 100 pages, uh, website pages, and your goal is to get from the first floor all the way up to the 100th floor. Sounds easy. It is not as easy as you think it is. So, uh, as, as it reads on the screen, this is a game, but the rules are very simple. When you press the Begin button, you will be taken to the ground floor of a skyscraper. The skyscraper is 100 stories high, not counting the ground floor and other special floors placed throughout the building. Your goal is to make it to floor 100 of the building. Sounds easy, right? Hop in an elevator, climb some stairs, can't be that hard, but that's not how you advance in this game. Each floor has a password that you must discover to gain access. Each floor contains clues as to what the password of the next story is. These start easy, but get progressively harder as you advance up the building. So, in order to enter the pass, uh, password, what you're going to do is you type it at the end of the URL, right after um, dot .com. So up here, um, it would be the next... Uh, you type it in right after the google.com here uh, and we're just going to get started here we're going to begin so you can see the url changes up here um, it's actually you don't even type it right after the dot com it's after this last slash here so um, you can see the url changes so this after this last slash is where your password's going to show up uh, so this is the ground floor welcome to the ground floor of skyscraper 100 I'd like to start you off with something simple to make sure you really understand how this works. Uh, so, um, this text is always up here. Um, often, sometimes there are little hints or suggestions in this text. Otherwise, it's just kind of generally chatty. Um, and then below it um, is always going to be uh, your big clue um, or your hint to, to figuring out what the password is on this floor. So. Uh, the hint for this floor from the ground floor is this is the name of the floor you are on right now. Uh, so the name of the floor we're on right now is ground floor. Um, and one hint uh, that they do give is you're always going to type uh, no spaces and no capital letters. Um, you don't need that in the URL. So I'm going to delete the begin up here in the URL, which you should be able to see. And I'm just going to type in ground floor, no spaces, no capital letters and hit enter. And we found the page for floor one. My, 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 what a smart one we have here. Nicely done. Let's see if you can do it again. So the next thing we type in is, this is the name of the floor you want to go to next. So we've got floor one here. Obviously floor two is what we want to go to next. Uh, you can use numbers. It's You don't have to type out the letter two. Let's see what happens if we do type out the letter two, floor two. 
We're sorry, we're unable to locate the page you requested. Here are some similar pages from this site, floor two. <laughs> uh, so we could click there or we could go back um, and retype it here, floor two. So you have to be exact. Getting close enough might lead you to a page like we just saw where you can see, oh, that's what I should have typed. But in this case, uh, we just went back and we're going to type it using the, the number. So you got to be specific. You got to get the password exactly right or you're not going to be able to get to the next floor. So suddenly we're at floor two. OK, playtime's over. End of tutorial. Time to launch you into this. Put your aptitude to the test. Don't worry, I'll still be here to help you. The question is, will I see you at the top? So we've hit floor two and now we have this puzzle to solve. So if you were watching yesterday, if it was live at this point yesterday, I've solved all the way up to 10. And so we're gonna go up to 10 again. Um, and we're just gonna kind of run through them. Uh, and so this one, if I remember correctly, you're taking the first word and the question marks. I think the word is elephant. So you're taking the question mark words. And then the second word is vacation. So we need the VA. And then the last word is actor. So we need the TOR and it spells elevator. And that's our hint, our clue, our password to get to floor three. Now, this one. This one was a little tricky because we actually found out uh, a hint or a clue that jumped us straight up to floor seven. Um, but now um, we're going to do this the not necessarily, I wouldn't say it's cheating way to find a higher floor, but we're just going to do this the, the full on, the full on way. So we're not going to try to jump to floor jump floors, at least in this video. So um, the clue for this one is keep your head down and hidden. Um, this site, like I said, is older than 10 years because um, it's been around for longer than that. Um, so part of me wonders if this might have been hidden at one point, um, if this might have been a different color, um, trying to blend in a little more with the background. Um, you know, there might be, you might have to sometimes highlight a page and see if there's anything hidden. You can see up here, this is the password actually that gets you to floor seven is the above. Um, but this is the password here that's going to get us to the next floor, B3L0W. There we go. Floor four, you're doing good, starting to see how to think outside the box. That'll help you in this building. So uh, with this, we um, I remembered yesterday, uh, my first grade teacher, Mrs. Greenwood, uh, teaching us the rainbow song. And these, I believe, are the abbreviations for Roy G. Biv, which are the colors of the rainbow. So we've got the R for red. Now we need the orange, the yellow, the green. We've got the B for blue. We need the indigo. And then there's the V for violet. So there we are, we're at floor five. See, now questions are starting to get a little bit trickier. You have to rely on some outside knowledge. Um, you have to rely on some logic skills. Um, and at some points, you might need to end up doing a little research. Um, you might need to go to Google, or um, I can show you some of our online resources that might be able to help you out too. Um, so floor five, you've got the basic trivia down. That comes up a fair bit here. Got used to it yet? So this one's actually logic and a little bit of math. Um, so I was a little concerned when I first saw this, but then I realized I just tried out a few numbers and, and figured out the pattern pretty quickly. So in this case, um, what you're doing is you are adding, always adding the previous two numbers before a letter to get the next number. So in this case, one, and then if you put another one here, which is the first in our password, um, and then you add them together. One plus one is two. So then you can put a two up there. Now you've got these two, which we figured out are one and two, and that equals three. That makes sense. And then you've got two, and then you've got three, and two plus three is five. So we've got one, two, five as our password. And that makes sense because three then plus five equals eight. So then our final number is five plus eight which in this case is 
13. And so our password is 12513. There we are. And we've got now floor six. Uh, doing good, doing good. The opposite of floor three, which it's hidden up here again, um, but also the opposite of floor three, or floor three was below, so the opposite of floor three is above using these, um, using the numbers in place of letters in the word. So now we've hit floor seven. Okay, and on this one, I had to do a little bit of research um, for this one. Um, so, see, told you that thinking outside the box comes in handy. Let's see how you match against this one. Celery, carrot, tomato, lettuce, O-M-O. -O. I didn't know what O-M-O -O stands for. Um, I figured it out yesterday, um, but I just honestly had to go to Google. I went O-M-O -O abbreviation. And I saw this here. I was like, okay, we've got this list. Celery, carrot, tomato, lettuce, O-M-O. -O. It's like, I, you know, I, I was wondering, okay, do I need to come up with three different, you know, vegetables or foods that start with O, M, and O? That's a lot. What am I missing? So I looked up what O-M-O -O means, and it find, I find out it means odd man out. The other abbreviations didn't make too much sense. Open market operations, one man operation, old mother owl. Odd man out definitely made the most sense. So if you're looking at that, you're thinking, okay, celery and carrots start with a C, but the other two are still out. And then I'm thinking, okay, well, these are all vegetables. Tomato's a fruit. Let's try tomato. And there we are. We've made it to floor eight. So um, sometimes using outside research, using Google and other sites are, are what you're going to need. Um, so floor eight, um, from Charles Dickens, the best of times equals the worst of times. So again, no spaces, no capital letters, you got to spell it right, worst of times. And now we're at level nine. And again, we have a cocktail recipe, um, which uh, when again, I had to Google because uh, I don't know cocktail recipes off the top of my head. Um, I just copied the recipe, control C or command C if you're on an Apple computer, and I pasted it in here, control V or command V, and hit enter to search. Looks like um, I found out it was called a, oh no, here we go, a cosmopolitan. Um, that is the name. So when I typed in cosmopolitan, It didn't get me anywhere. So I ended up having to try it again and I ended up abbreviating it, abbreviating it as Cosmo. And that's what got me to floor 10. So this is where we left off, floor 10. So you know the password to get to floor 10. We've done it together. Can you figure it out? Can you keep going? What does this mean? Can you figure it out? Uh, so good luck with Skyscraper 100. Um, if you need any um, other good resources that might be able to help you out, if you go to our website at marionpubliclibrary.org and hover over where it says e-library here, and then go down where it says online resources. So there's a whole bunch of online resources. Who knows what questions might come up? Maybe you need to look up you know, a, a make and a model of a car to figure out what kind of part is missing. Maybe you need um, some, a year that uh, an actor, an athlete, an inventor, a musician was born. Um, so there's all sorts of resources here right on our library page, on our online resources page, e-library online resources that might be able to help you out in your quest to get to floor 100. So good luck, and I will cross your fingers without technology problems. See you live next Wednesday in May. Uh, that is Wednesday, May 13th, 1 p.m. for Teen Tech Time live on Facebook. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.